Sickle cell anemia and this is the most common hemoglobinopathy encountered during pregnancy and these sickle cell diseases they are hereditary disorders transmitted equally by males and the females. It is caused by point mutation in the beta globin gene on the chromosome number 11 and in this what happens there is substitution of valine for glutamic acid at the 6th position of the beta chain of the normal hemoglobin. So this is a very important question. Sickle cell anemia it is caused by a point mutation in the beta globin gene on which chromosome? Chromosome number 11. And what happens in this? There is substitution of valine for glutamic acid at the 6th position of the beta chain of the normal hemoglobin and it leads to the formation of HBS. Now when this gene mutation is homozygous then the individual has sickle cell anemia and in this the person has very small quantity of HBF and no HBA. What is present? HBSS is present. Whereas in cases of heterozygous individuals for sickle cell hemoglobin, they have sickle cell trait that is HBAS is present, not double S, it is AS because this is heterozygous. And such individuals have about 55 to 60 percent of HBA that is the adult hemoglobin and 35 to 40 percent of HBS. And these sickle cells, they have a very short lifespan of 5 to 10 days as compared to the normal RBC lifespan of 120 days. This sickle cell is transmitted equally by the male and female. Now, if a pregnant female has sickle cell anemia, then in that case, her partner should also be tested. And if you find that the partner is also heterozygous for sickle cell, then there are chances for the fetus to be affected. Then in that case, we do prenatal diagnosis by CVS or amniocentesis and if the fetus is also diagnosed to have major hemoglobinopathy, then in that case, termination of pregnancy is offered to the patient.